So yes, yes, guys, I got the beautiful uh, Miss Rita here. <laughs> My lovely wife here. She want to come see a movie today. So we're here at AMC. Let's see. AMC, AMC, Clifton Commons. So she wanted to see Plane since she heard it's going to come out this year. She she heard about it last year. She wanted to come see it. I said it's not even released yet. Oh, can I bring you? today, Friday. So it finally released. So the here we are. can come see it. I mean, they could come, but it's rated R. We choose not to bring them. Too much of violence. So Rita is getting some snack, some icy, I believe. That's what she likes. Rita, feel like a kid today. She's getting icy. <laughs> and guys, there is nobody here because we came to watch 4:30 movie. <laughs> nobody here, so I got the whole theater for myself. All right, enjoy. And you know me and Krishna, when we go somewhere, we're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> we're the first one. <laughs> Have you fully got a little more? Be expensive. Uh, it's okay. I think you got free refill. <laughs> so we only get icy, right? And we don't want popcorn. I don't feel like eating popcorn yeah, today. Yeah, because it's only 4.30. We can go home and eat dinner with the kids. Yep, yep. So, movie theater looks like... They get too much of people. So here we are. And I'm so excited about this movie. I don't want to give you guys this spoiler. Do come and see it. The na name of the movie is Plane. Real action. Seems like a kid movie to me. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Alright, so we'll find out. I, I don't think we can video it, so you'll have to come see it for yourself. So AMC Clifton Commons. That's a wrap on this edition of Perry Fix. Check out the movie on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok for more details on upcoming releases. See you next time and enjoy the movie. So we're here. We're the only one here. <laughs> you got a few people here. I guess people are coming in later. <laughs> We come all the way in the back here. Celebrate your movie fan's birthday with Fix. We bring Rita all, all the way back here. Six and seven. This is the view from back here. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. What they got me doing here? She wants me to grate some fresh dry coconut. I'm not sure what is she, she's gonna make. She's not telling. She just said, You shut up and grind coconut. At least she gave me a beard and stuff. That is good. Cheers. So I got a question for all of you, right? What is the difference between finish and complete? All right? So stay tuned, the answer is coming up. In the meantime, you guys can drop a comment and tell me what is the difference between finish and complete. All right, so let's get this coconut going. Today we're making some goja. <laughs> we have all the ingredients here layout. I got some fresh ginger here. This is smelling real good. I'm gonna blend this up and we'll use this for the uh, coconut. So yes, check it out. So check out this uh, grind ginger here. I think I got one slice that I miss. Let me go back in. Yeah, you don't want it too mushy. And that right. gives the flavor, the yep. coconut more flavor. This gives a nice flavor to it, or a nice twist to the goja, right? So we're gonna go ahead and start make this goja. Okay. Yes, and look, we got our coconut, fresh coconut, Krishna grade there. How much? Three coconut? Three coconut, yep. So let's see how much we'll make. Yes. You're gonna use the whole thing or not? We got our stuff ready here, ready to go. I'm gonna be helping out Krishna today to make the goja. And stuff. So come with me, come with me, family. Rita, go be a lady roti. We're gonna make roti and stuff. 
I will see how Rita Bailey the roti and chunk it down. So let's get this hot warm up there. The curry. Three coconut we got here, eh? Mm hmm So we're gonna go in here. We gotta patch the coconut first. And this is my way, right? Everybody do it different. So we're gonna let this patch. And we'll check that out. This is three coconut. We're gonna patch this up before we go in with the other ingredients, right? Of course. So yes guys, so we patch up the coconut here. Nice, you don't want it too brown, right? You don't want it too brown to burn out all the juice because you need the juice, right? To make your goja nice and juicy. Yeah, and you know the American coconut, not that nice like that, you know <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna add the three and a half cup of- uh, Three and a half cup of sugar. Of uh, brown Guyana sugar or Demerara sugar. The sugar come all the way from Guyana, right? Are no, that what no, the people put on the label? No, um, it's not demerara sugar. Demerara one done. It's the organic sugar. Okay, so my bad. It's organic sugar, brown sugar. Yes. Okay. Yes, guys. So I'm going in with my spice. So one tablespoon cinnamon powder. It's optional, right? But we that's how we like it. And nutmeg. I'm going with half tablespoon of nutmeg. Everything is uh, grind up already? Yes. And we got some essence. I'm going with a whole tablespoon of essence. And this thing is smelling real good here already. Yes, I know. Turn that up real nice and we patch up. Ooh, smell good. I'm saying it's smelling real good. It looks like you're ready to eat. Look like bun sugar cake there, even though in a bun. You wanna make some? I can make some bun on you. Yeah, that's alright. I'm gonna be eating goja already. No more sweet. And we're making this rich, guys. Real rich. So I got all this uh, grind ginger here. I'm only gonna put in about a spoon. I mean, just give it a nice uh, twist to it. You don't wanna put too much in, otherwise, it's gonna be bitter, right? It's gonna cut out the the sweet taste no real good so last year when I went on this cruise right in the middle of the night I couldn't sleep so I grab a bottle of water and I come out on the deck I said let me just come out to get some fresh air so while I was on the deck we got American there and a Englishman or a guy from England So you know we're standing there we're chatting and stuff um, All of a sudden a ghost come out from the from the ocean or the water and The ghost said I got a challenge for the three of you Put anything in the water and I'll get it If I get it, I'm gonna eat you out if I can't get it then you'll be safe So the American said okay, he got a ring on his finger. So he throw his ring in the water you throw the ring in, within a minute, the ghost went down, grab the ring and come back up. So the Englishman said, he started to think now what he got in him. He got a diamond ring. You know, his ring got some small pieces of diamond. So he break out a piece of diamond and he throw it in. He said, all right, good luck finding this. Within three minutes, the ghost find the diamond and he come back out. So, me now, poor me nigga nothing to me. Me only grab my bottle water and come out because maybe I got try for sleep and we couldn't sleep. So then I think for a second, what should I throw in? Then I open my bottle of water and I throw it in the ocean. I said, good luck finding that. The ghost is still <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come along nice. Yep, nice and juicy, see? Rich. Yeah, let it patch a little bit more. Yep, so we're gonna let this uh, patch for a little bit more and then we'll put the other stuff in, right? The milk, yes. Milk and coloring. Yes. Alright guys, so I got a, my carnation milk here. I'm gonna go in with this. And this is gonna make it very rich. So 
Yeah, that's uh, I'm going in the creek in. So, be very flavorful, very rich. So we're gonna let this uh, dry down for a little bit now. Give it some slow heat to keep turning it, right? And if, let it dry down. Yeah, if you want, you could add half and half, half water and half milk. But as I said, we're making it very rich. We're not adding in any water. Look real nice. So we're gonna go in with the coloring. Give it some nice red. Chatak, matak, bright color there, bright red. Yes, bright red. You're not going to see the color right away. Yeah, it'll take time to... Yeah, give it a few minutes and it will change. I know what I'm saying because I do this all the time. You're the export in sugar cake. Yes. Alright, so this is coming along pretty good there. It's getting pretty red. Yeah. Alright, so this is the... How the color comes out nice bright red color anyway it's gonna be inside the gojo so it doesn't matter right unless you're making sugar cakes and, and then you want the color but it's uh, optional the color is coloring is optional no it is red but maybe the camera gonna give you justice but later on you're gonna see it you look kind of orange -ish, right <laughs> on camera yeah so we got rita getting ready got what are you making jingles. i'm gonna make the dough for the um the, the goja. Okay. So I'm adding it my flour, my little flour. It's average, right? Okay. And while you add it, make some rotita. Not push your luck, man. <laughs> while you add it, clap some roti for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clinty because goja gotta be small, right? Mm -hmm. And then you might came out a lot. Average going in the baking powder. And then I'm going to make some active dry yeast. That will make the thing swell up and so nice. Okay. You know how the thing will go? Right, and I gotta okay. get some nice water. And guys, check out my bell. I had this bell for years. I know it, it kind of discolored. But since I know Krishna, I got this bell now since we were dating. How many years, Krishna? Mm, almost 20 years. 20 years, I got this bell now. <laughs> Bella look new man, like he hardly used. Look like can I make roti? The Bella look. <laughs> the Bella is supposed to be more beat up if you make all the roti. Are you always up with me? <laughs> yes, you know the thing there. I gotta get in here and mix up this dough real nice. Okay. Mix up the dough there, mix up the dough, make it up real nice. And now you're gonna get some practice on how you're gonna make some nice roti. I'm supposed to bring Jenna. Jenna love to do this. Alright, so continue to mix that up. We'll check yeah, back yeah, on you in a little bit. Check on, the, check on the, um, the sugar cake to put in here. So this is how the sugar cake coming along there. It's coming along pretty good. The color changes, right? Nice and bright. Red color. Looking chatak matak. So let's check in on, on Rita here, see how she roti coming along there, or, she, or her dough yeah. to make the goja. Done. Looking real good there. So how much you gonna make with that? Um, I don't know, depends on the size. But Ethan just came down and he was like, he wanted to know what we were making. So he was like, let me save some and make some sugar cake for him. So I'm gonna try to make some sugar cake for him too. Okay, nice. With left leftovers, but guys, check out my dough. You see how my husband are complain? You need some of this good milk for 20 years and you still complain about my roti. So guys, see how this uh, sugar cake for the goja coming along there? Rita is taking out some for the goja and the rest will leave for some uh, sugar cake. Ethan requested some sugar cake. Yes. So we're going to leave some. And like I said, we're not going to make a lot of goja, maybe five or six. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of coconut, so. The rest will be for sugar cake. And you see how nice and bright red the color come out there? Look at that. So how are you guys doing with the uh, the question that I asked earlier? I hope some of you guys got the answer, right? What's the difference between finish and complete? So yes, guys, this is the remaining sugar cake here. And we're actually going to make some sugar, sugar cake with it. Right? That's why we make it nice and rich and give it some nice color. 
So the sugar cake gonna come out real good. See what Rita is doing there? So this sugar cake coming out real good there. And when you eat one of this, you eat one of this, right? You don't need to call for another one. Very nice rich. and rich and gain Z, right? Yeah, three and a half pounds sugar in here. A lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. Yes, guys, check out this sugar cake. What we got? Three, six, nine, twelve. Oh my god, with the three coconut, we got that because Ethan loves sugar cake. Ethan got sweet tooth. And guys, I also want to give a shout out and a happy birthday to Miss Debbie from the Gopi family in Florida. So take a big up, bottoms up, girl. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Miss Debbie. Yeah, I know you're celebrating your birthday right now and we were watching your live, so bottom up. <laughs> mm. So we got some a little bit distraction too when we were vlogging. So let's get this show on the road. So we got the sugar cake already here. Check it out real nice. And then we're going to start with the sugar cake. The goja. Sorry. <laughs> Can we... Look so... like your bottoms up too much here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got the sugar cake already a nice here. And then we're gonna start with the goja now. All right, let's go. All right, so let's see Rita flower skill. If you're skilling flour or you're skilling masala. You're skilling everything. I'm a multitask person. Okay, multi-talented? Multi-talented, yes. Okay. How this man said me can't barely roti. Look at my roti come out nice and soft. Oh my god, 20 years I live with this man here. 20 years. <laughs> oh, you for them lady you never know, got jail America here, man. Use my bell now. Out of fashion. <laughs> lady not go jail, the man not go jail. Even if the man wrong and all them. I mean right and all them still go jail. No, that's not true. All right, so you're looking good there. You can make roti, man. You can make roti. I was just messing with you, busting your chops. I know. It's all the humor. I don't want to make it too big. So this is the nice ingredient for inside. Nice and juicy. Yes. Sugar cake or a coconut. And that's how you spread it and in. And yeah, you don't want it too dry. You want it nice and juicy like this. You see this? And she putting a decent amount, but you don't want to go close to the edge, right? Yeah. So it will break. So then you go like that. Mm. Ready to rock and roll. And then you could just mark it out, or I'm just gonna do this to be on the safe side because I don't want nice it to, and juicy, right? You don't want it to leak. Yeah, I don't want it to leak in the um, oil. I mess the oil up. All right, looking good. Looking real good. Yes, guys. Check it out. We get this bell now for 20 years. I can't believe. Let me move her. And then you take your little fork and you mark it up. I see Amazon have the stuff that you just put it and close it and it does all the work. Right? But what's the fun of it? <laughs> you want to do some work, right? We like to do the old fashioned way. All right. So that is looking good. Yeah. Let's Ready go put yet? it in the oil and let it fry. Hold on. And yes. check this baby out. Looking real nice. Oil is nice and warm there. So we'll let this fry. We'll show you guys once it's done. So this is how they go Jacob along. We get four there. We got number five frying. And we get Jenna come down to say hi there. Jenna smell food. Hi. <laughs> what did you smell? Food. No, she wanna make a roti, so I have this last one, it's going to work with this one, mm -hmm. and she want to make a roti with this one. So guys, stay tuned to see my professional, my sous chef over here, right? Jenna is going to try to make a roti, or attempt to make a roti. I can make a roti. Did you make roti before? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, good. She did. So we'll see. So yes, guys, this is how the goja come out. This one pop a little bit, carry a little hole, but it's okay. Uh, so you guys finish guessing what's the difference between complete and finish? Jenna, what is the difference between finish and complete? Uh, what is the difference between finish and complete? It looks like more golden. No, no, no. no it's a is. question your dad asked earlier. What is the difference between finish and, and complete? complete? 
Oh, finish and complete. Mm -hmm. That people are people from Finland are called Finnish. Okay. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> All right. So here is the answer. So the difference are the, this is what complete described, right? Mm -hmm. When you marry to the right woman, your life is complete. Married to the wrong woman, and your life is finished. All right, so that's the answer. Hope you guys get it right, right? So Jenna is here to make her roti. Jenna is learning, getting some practice. Come on, Jenna, you're getting there. <laughs> think you got it? Yep. Uh oh, I think you gotta put though. some more flour. Lay mommy, come help you. Go ahead, give her a hand. Since Jenna knows all 50 states and all 195 countries you know the shape what do you think that shape is what well, country look like a shape <laughs> 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 but if you shape it it could look like the united states okay so shape it like the usa make a U roti with the usa so okay make your roti wrong Little flower. She doesn't need help. She's a pro. Yes. All right, Jenna. Continue to make it. Once you're done, we'll come back and check you out. What is it? We can even this. She get this um thing. Are oh, you gonna be stuck on the bell now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, wait, we need a little more flour on the bottom of it so it stays like not sticking. Spread it nice. Do I put some power muscles? I have big muscles. It doesn't make it, it doesn't matter that it came out into a mop, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be wrong. I was just joking with you. As long as it bake. And has flavor. And has flavor, right? All right, so you're good? Oh, you think it's good? It the U.S. now. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're making the Florida part? <laughs> yeah, the only thing that's missing is Florida. What about Long Island? I don't see Long Island. <laughs> Oh yeah, we need Alaska too. Okay, that's okay. All right, so the roti is good. Let's warm up the tawari and we're gonna cook it. Good job, Jenna. You make USA map. That's Jenna roti. <laughs> All right, so we got Jenna roti going in there. She didn't get it wrong, but it's good enough. And we got the tawa. So. Let the roti cook. And then we're gonna know, see if Jenna fail or not. I'm gonna wash my hands. So, yes, check out uh, Jenna roti there. I'm not gonna let Jenna cook it. She did the, the head of work, so I'm gonna help her give it some oil. Because it's oil roti, right? Jenna, you did a good job, man. You look like you can do better than your mommy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? What do you she think? Cooks the best. Okay. Better than you. <laughs> How about you? I don't know much about cooking. I just know. What do you know how to do? I know how to make roti, just not how to cook. Oh. Such you a might say, Mommy is training you good. Your mommy training you good. Maybe I can learn how to heat it up <laughs> and not get burnt. <laughs> That's okay. So Jenna Roti coming along good day. Wanna see if you're raised. Ooh. Did you guys put the oil in between? No. <laughs> we did it. Okay. I like my roti. Yes. Sometimes I like to like, make it small enough so I can fit in your pocket. You make pocket roti? <laughs> it tastes 
good though. Who's gonna clap it? I don't know how. Haven't you done any roti now so with the thing, the spatula? The roti finish. I'm gonna try to clap it a little bit here. Clap the roti, bye. Clap the roti. Ooh. You gotta make it, just to make it a little bit softer, right? I think that's the reason why people clap it. I like soft roti. It is soft. It's soft. the best. Nice and soft. See how Jenna roti come out of it? Jenna, excellent job, Jen. So Jen is going to eat it and show us how it comes out, right, Jen? Yep. Wow, Jen. <laughs> five, give me five, give me five. You're the best. So you're going to eat it or are you going to let me eat it? I'm going to eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> you're not going to let me try it? All right, I'm just kidding. This is for you, right? Mm -hmm. All right, enjoy. Okay, so guys, this is my review. On her own roti. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy, very flavorful, delicious, good. I think I did better than Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you better not let him see this video. He would roast you. So guys, so it's long weekend here in New Jersey, right? It's Martin Luther King uh, weekend. So Monday, kids are off. From school, I'm off from work. So Rita, catch me for make all kind of thing here. We help make goja ready. Now she want to make egg ball, right? So we're going to make some egg ball. Or cassava, and cassava ball both, right? So goja is done already. I'm going to, you guys saw that already. I'm going to taste that in a little bit. Add the cassava ball and add some salt in there. Going in with average salt, right? So we'll let that boil and then we'll mix more stuff into it. Once it boil and we mash it up. So we'll let this boil. It's some uh, fresh cassava, it's not the frozen one. We bought the fresh one today from the store. So let's uh, try out Rita Goja here. See how you feel. It feels kind of soft. I was expecting it to be stiff. But if me take a cramp out my glass window, you go broke. But um, not stiff. It's come out soft and nice. I guess she did an excellent job here. You see how it looks inside? It's real good. Let me see if this thing will broke my teeth or it will be nice and um, if I um, use my false teeth or not. You can eat it with my false teeth. You will take your eyes and pass me. Alright, it's very good. I thought it was going to be stiff the way it looked, but um, it only looks like that. It's soft and nice. The sugar cake carry a nice flavor to it. It's not dry. It's juicy. Right? So it comes out really, really well. Um, the sugar is perfect. The way I like it, not as sweet as some people will like it, but I, I like it like this. Um, if you have a sweet tooth more than me, you can add some more sugar. And, you know, like I said, like Rita was saying earlier, everybody makes it different. But... Man, this is good. If we do not hold my back, my dude, I'll hit tonight. You enjoy, boy. You like it? Of course, like I said. If you don't hold my back, my dude, I'll hit tonight. One more round. I'm gonna put one shot. And it's cooked end to end, even though she mashed the edge. You don't have the coconut, it's still cooking the end, it's nice and soft. So you did an excellent job. I was messing with you and you, when I said you can't cook roti. I know. Because if this come out like this, your roti will come out good. Yes. And if I can't <laughs> cook roti, why you been with me for 20 years? Come on, man, I'll be with you for roti only. <laughs> <laughs> Look like they come out good. Sometimes it is luck and chance, right? Some cassava <laughs> boil and some not boil. But this one boil real good. So I'm gonna turn it off and go strain it. And, and then, then the... guys, listen. Jen was here. Remember, she talked about her roti. It was better than Gordon Ramsay stuff. And then he was like, "Okay, the only recommendation you get to your dad, put the. <laughs> go ahead, Krishna. Put a towel there. 
Yes. Now you gotta give me work for steady this time. <laughs> <laughs> So Jenna, I'm gonna keep this towel here like a Gordon Ramsay. So I'm trying that thing now, see if you can stay. Look like you fall out steady though. But I gotta put on pin. Maybe that man put on pin underneath the pin. He <laughs> <laughs> keeps sliding out. So I guess that's the trick. Maybe I gotta put a, what do you call them? Safety pin underneath. Oh, wait, wipe stay. your hand, dude. You she wondering. Like no, no, she was wondering that you don't wear an apron like me. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. go to Ramsey. Well, I'm a pro. I don't make mess, you know. They're not a pro, so that's why they need apron. You <laughs> need stay clean without apron and without towel. <laughs> Only pro can do that. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> we get Gord. Excuse me. We got Gordon Ramsey, sous chef here. Okay. okay that's yeah. what your daughter said. I'm gonna try to hold this up for Jenna here, but let me see if you give me more work than what you're supposed to have. So. I put a little bit of butter in it so it stays nice and soft. Let's get this butter to come on. Give it a decent amount, right? All right, so I'm gonna go in with some onion powder. You can use fresh onion if you want, but uh, you know when it fries, it doesn't look good on the top, right? So that's why you go with onion powder. You can also go with fresh garlic too. We did that in the past, or you can go with uh, garlic powder. So. However you choose, right? And give it a nice flavor there. And this is the main ingredient here. You got some nice hot pepper. I don't think the kids will eat it, so. And then we're gonna add sour on top of this. I boil it with some salt, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Flavor it up there. Not too much, because I boil it with some already. And then Which we sound like your little leak there, man. Ooh. I know, it's smelling real good. I'm with this all this pepper here. <laughs> and what's Lily, man? <laughs> <laughs> you saliva. You have tried to be Americanized with me. Yes, right, so get in there, go boy. Ahead, mash this up. Nice, real nice. Mash it, mix it up real good. It's still hot, so. Should I let it cool down a little bit so I can't go with my hands because it's too hot. Coming on real nice. Yeah, yeah. So I finished mixing this. I'm starting to put the egg in and uh, wrong it or make it a little bit long, because it depends on what shape you like. All right? Uh, Rita don't like when I make it too big. She says she can't eat a full one, so making it a little bit smaller. Excellent job, excellent. You come out nice and soft. And the guys, the way how it came out nice and soft, add a little bit of butter, right? Yep, yep. So you make mango sour already? Yes. I'm going to eat this thing with. I think real nice and proper wrong, you see? And it's only cassava, right? No flour in between, straight cassava. No alu or potato. Uh, some of the, sometimes when you go to the store, they mix it. I'm not sure what, I think they, what they put in it. Even though they Potato. said cassava ball. Yeah, aloo ball. <laughs> they put aloo and sometimes they put some flour and stuff. So This one is uh, straight up cassava. And you can coat it with some egg. Some people do that. I'm not going to do that. This, this, you boil it to the right, uh, what do you call it? Temperature. Temperature or texture. You don't need to put anything. So this is going to hold. I know some, if it doesn't boil too properly, it's going to get loose when you try to... When you attempt to fry it, it's gonna get loose inside. But this is not gonna loose. This will stay still or stay whole. All right, so the oil is warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a few in here to fry them up. You don't have to fry this too long. You just need a little bit of a, uh, make the color stand out a little bit because it's already boiled, right? The cassava mm -hmm. is fully boiled already. So I'm just gonna flavor it up in this oil and get, change the color. Good job, good job. See, and it's holding together, right? It's not breaking up, so. Which is good. That's what you want. So, 
I got dessert with the goja and now I got breakfast even though I'm making it in the night so I'm gonna have this for breakfast tomorrow morning no need for bread right no need for bread and egg cassava ball I mean the egg ball with some nice mango sour that we have prepared So yes guys, check it out. And this is a long weekend here in New Jersey, right? Yeah. That's what I catch Krishna for makeup. Some nice nice things. So I'm gonna wake up early morning. That breakfast for a couple of days. <laughs> How do you catch me? How do you catch me? Trunk cast net or what? <laughs> Not really. So you see how this come out? Depends on how you like it, right? How brown you want it. Like I said, you don't have to uh, Cook it for too long because it's fully boiled, right? Just to flavor it up and harden it up a little bit. With the oil, it gives it a different flavor. So, breakfast. A1, A1 chef. Breakfast on demand. So Rita is helping out. Check her all day, check her all day. So yes guys, so cassava, I mean egg ball finish. This is how it comes out here. So take a look here. Let me um, go ahead. Real nice, oh my God. Look real good. I know I said I'm gonna eat it for breakfast, but I can't wait, it smells so good. Look Ooh, at this. Ooh, wow. Real nice, right? And Rita makes some nice mango sour here. Look, look at that. Man, this is real good. Come Rita, come. Try it. <laughs> Look. Give it some nice mango sour. Eh? Yes, get it in like old fashioned way. Mm. Go into a spoon and fork. We <laughs> got these. Get in there, boy. See, the towel come in handy too. So, this is good. I'm the only one eating from this. So I'm going to go back inside and eat this. Double dip. The kids don't like double dip. <laughs> when Jenna see me do this, she said I'm double dipping. She's not gonna taste but eat back from this. But it's um only me, right? Very flavor flavorful. And carry a nice taste to it, right? The onion and the um the onion and the garlic bring out a nice flavor to it. And organic egg can be the right and the sour. Man the sour Rita put some nice pepper in there, so this pepper bun two times when you go down or when you come out. So let's see, let's worry about that later on. Wow, it came out amazing. Check it out. Mm. This is heaven. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one, right? All the best until then. Well, you know this is Zoo times two. Long side kilo. And this one is for all the tic-tac ladies. Here we go. I went to a soccer party.